Hi everyone, I'm Heba and welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to show you the things that I finished in the month of January and it is quite a bit. Let me show you, give you a little peek here, a little basket of trash. I'm trying to finish things up because I have got a lot of samples so I'm just trying to use things up. But first I did a video earlier today and there was a special guest. My husband was in it, at least he was in the background. So it will be in the video after this one. I'll put that one up after this one. But it was the Sephora favorites, Give Me Some New Lip. And he kind of helped critique and, and I asked which lipstick he wanted me to wear for the next video. And he said the Fenty Beauty one. So I am wearing this lip color for him. So yay. <laughs> so I hope you guys check that video out. It's pretty cute. It's, you know, it was all in fun. It was all in fun. But anyway, well, let's get to my trash here. Let me put that out here in front. I may need to separate it to kind of give it, you know, uh, skincare and makeup. And let me just grab the big, bo the big bottles here first. And the first thing here is my shampoo and conditioner by Regenesis, the thickening shampoo and conditioner. I mean, this is what I've been using. I am trying other things, and there is one that I like that I'm using too. Um, I'm about to finish that one, so that one may be finished in, in that one may be in my next empties video. But I've all, I will always have a backup of this, and I like to get it when it's on sale. And I know I mentioned the, these two uh, websites before, Derm Store and Lovely Skin, but they have it on sale, and that's when I like to buy it. Okay, there you go. All right, and of course, my Bath and Body Works Moonlit Path the body cream. Opened it up at the top and again I have a stockpile of this when they have their sale. This has been my scent for over a dozen years. I mean for a long time. I really like the scent. Let me finish that one. And this body lotion here by Glycolics. Let me show that to you. This one here it has 15% glycolic acid and I use this on my arms to exfoliate the dead skins. This one here, after about a couple weeks, the dispenser kind of clogged up, so I always had to take off the, unscrew the cap to get it off. And then it was really hard to get rid of the, the, the lotion in the bottom. So I always had to, you know, display it upside down for it to be down here, so it will be easier to get. So, the other one I got, I didn't get this one. I did get another glycolic lotion, and it is Glytone, and that one has 17.5% gly glycolic uh, lotion. That one has 17% glycolic acid. <laughs> there, that's what I'm trying to say. And actually, I like the Glytone better. Granted, the Glytone one is a little bit thicker. I mean, it's a, you don't need that much, and I see more of a difference with a Glytone than with this one. I don't know because I went from 0% to 15% then to 17% that might help. That might have helped. But and when you do get something like this, you may need to gradually continue using it. You know, use it like once or twice a week and then, you know, up it every week. This one, I think the Glytone, like I said, has a thicker consistency than this one. So, and I like the Glytone better, so I won't be getting this one again. All right, here, the next thing here is by Rodial. It is the Dragon's Blood XXL Advanced Sculpting Serum. I like this brand, Rodial. I have several other uh, products, and I have the night cream of this, um, of the Dragon's Blood one. And I have an eye cream, the Bee Venom, and I really like that one. I've had that one for over, for almost a year, and I've really enjoyed that one. I'm still like halfway done with that one. But this one here, this one, the Dragon's Blood, I had to research it, and it's it comes from a sap of a tree, and it, the tree is called Croton Lechleri. I believe that's how you say it. I'll put everything down below. I'll try to put that one on the screen too. It's anti-inflammatory and it also plumps and re repairs and, and heals the skin. And I really like this. And 
I don't know if I'll get it again now because I want to finish up a lot of my uh, skincare, but whenever I can, and again, if it's on sale, I, I would like to get this one again. I really like this brand. I'd like to try other things from that brand too. All right, here now, let me go ahead and show you my sheet masking. I love my sheet masks. I'm a sheet masking girl. <laughs> but I'll, I'll list these down below so you don't have to get bored with every single one of these here. But I like the, sorry about that. I like the Dr. Jart. I love the 111 Skin. And there was one here, you know, from Innisfree. That one was a good one, very inexpensive. Really does its job. But yeah, so these are the sheet masks I finished for the month of January. And let's see here, I finished the Shiseido, the facial cotton pads, finished a pack of those. And I finished the Bioderma, the uh, makeup wipes. This one, I like the CeraVe better. I like the CeraVe better, better. I don't use these to wipe the makeup off my face. I use them to, you know, wipe off my fingers or swatches, uh, maybe some lipstick. And I also, and I also like to tear them in half to, I guess, don't use them up as much. And this one was kind of hard to tear up. So, I know, the simple things, the, you know. <laughs> Plus, I think the CeraVe is easier to get. Also, just get it in any drugstore. And I kind of like the CeraVe better ones, so I won't be getting this one. All right, here, the next one here, it's by M61. It's the Power Glow Peel. And this one is a box of 10. And let me pull out here. They each come in their own little packet here. This one was nice. It's it's a quick glycolic and salicylic, salicylic acid exfoliating peel with vitamin K, bilberry, and chamomile. So I, I like this one, but I have a big packet of the Dr. Dennis Gross that I want to finish up first, and I'd like to get these again. I really like these. And I finished a travel size of the Mac Fix Plus. Okay, a lot of things are little sample sizes or little deluxe travel size. I This one here is the Belief, the True Cream, the Moisturizing Balm. I have a couple more of this size and I also bought the big size because I really love this cream. It's very light, smells great, it feels great. So yes, I do have backup of this. I have two La Mer samples here. One is the moisturizing cream and one is the treatment lotion. I will always use the La Mer moisturizing cream, always. This one is the treatment lotion and this one was just a good travel size to take with me. And I just finished the big jar that I have and I don't know if I'll be getting that one again because I think I'm, I'm finding new products that I really like, but this one I will always have. Travel size, big size, middle size. <laughs> so that's what I finished here. Let's see here. This is the CEO. Wait, I think I have another one of this here too. Oh, I can't read that. <laughs> Let me get my glasses here real quick. This is the Sunday Riley C plus E Protect and Repair Moisturizer and the Rapid Flash Brightening Serum. These are two deluxe samples of this. This one, the serum, didn't care for it that much, but the moisturizing cream, I really like this. And I also have another one of this size here that I'm gonna finish, that I like to finish, and I'd like to get the big size of that later. Okay, I got two things here from Colleen Rothschild. This one here is the Radiant Cleansing Balm that I absolutely love, a little travel size one. And the travel size of the Clarifying Detox Mask. I really like these both, and I'm trying to use up my other cleansing balms that, I tr that I'm trying, but I think I'll go back to this one and the Eve Loam. Uh, uh, those two so far are my favorites. And this detox mask, I like this. I think I'll eventually get this one again. Um, this one I think came in a kit, like a sample kit that I got, and which was nice because I love the travel sizes that, that these come in. And then two things here from May Lindstrom. I have, this one here is the Blue Cocoon and the uh, Youth Dew. Little sample sizes of this. Whenever, I've said this before, whenever you order online from Maylinds from you get two free samples. And 
I believe these were some of the samples that I get because I order often from her website. <laughs> and I have the big size of this and I really like these. Alrighty here, and this is by Tatcha. This is the Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I like this, but I don't think I like it enough to buy the big size. If I get it, you know, in another kit or or with points, I'll use it again, but probably not to buy. Probably not to buy. Sorry. Okay, here next, here another Sunday Riley. It's the Good Jeans. And I really like this stuff, but the I haven't had a chance to buy the big size yet because I do get a lot of the samples with the uh, you know gift with purchase and using my points at Sephora, getting their uh, deluxe sample size. And I've got a couple of these. That and the ones in a uh, deluxe sample size too. So for now, I don't need to buy it until I use up my samples. So... But eventually, I think I'm going to have to. So, yes. This one here by Eminence. This is the Bamboo Firming Fluid. I believe I got this in a uh, Dermstar Beauty Box. The um, Beauty Fix subscription box. And I think I only used this one time. And I couldn't... I didn't know yet if I liked it. So, But I have heard a lot about this brand. Because it's, it's an all-natural brand. All-organic skincare. So I'd like to try more before I buy it. Again, I've heard a lot of good things about Eminence, so eventually soon I'd like to try uh, more stuff from this brand, but with the firming fluid, I don't know yet after just one time if I like it. I hope that makes sense, but I finished it. This one here, I also got in a Beauty Fix um, subscription box. This is DCL, and this is the Hydro Boost Finishing Serum and the Skin Renewal Complex. You know, deluxe sample size here. This one, I like the serum better than the moisturizing. The moisturizing cream, the complex, has an SPF of 30, which is really good, but it left a white cast on my face, which is not good. And it's not cheap, and so I probably will not be buying these. But it was good to try samples. It's good. It's always good to try new things to see if it works or, or not. Here is the Peter Thomas Roth. This is the Unwrinkle Night Cream. Here it is right here. Let me read my glasses to read here. It has 24% blend of peptides and neuropeptides and vitamin A, C, and E, and provitamin B5, retinol, and glycolic acid. You know, I like this, and probably eventually I'd like to get this again, maybe in the Sephora sale, because I, I tend to like to buy things when they're on sale, unless I really need it. But this one was really good. I really like how my face felt in the morning um, after I used this at night, so this one was nice. And this mask here by Oskia, Oskia, let me show you the name here. And this is the uh, Renaissance mask. And this one was a nice mask. It was very moisturizing and it, it was an enzyme mask. Very gentle on the skin. I have another one of these sample sizes here that I got in a, I think in an advent calendar. So I'll use that one up too and see where I stand on this one. All right, here another cream here. This is by Natura Bise. This is the neck cream. I kind of like this one. But I have another neck cream, I think it's also by Dr. Dennis Gross, that I really like too, which is cheaper than this one. So I think I'll finish the Dr. Dennis Gross before I decide on this one. Maybe, I think the Dennis Gross is just as well, just as good as that one. Now I have two lip balms here. This is the Fresh Treatment Lip Balm. I've used it, the writing came off. And the Drunk Elephant Lippy. Now I really like this one because it does have an SPF, and I'll get another one. There's other fresh products that I'm almost done with that I'm waiting for like a gift with purchase to buy it. But this one here, I'm going to show you something here that I absolutely love. This right here, it's called the Beauty Spatula. There's two sizes there. Oops, let me show it to you here. Two sizes here. This one was great to get inside here because I cleaned that product out. <laughs> I mean, this one was a good month. Of product left in here. That and with the Drunk Elephant. 
I mean, I finished that one too. I, I like them both. I like them both. But I'm using other lip products right now that I want to finish up before I buy more of these two right here. The Fresh and the Drunk Elephant. All right here. Now the next are makeup related. And let's see here. There are one, two, three, four, five mascaras. This one here is the Regenesis, the Volumizing Primer and Mascara. I've been using this, I think it's like my third one, and I probably won't be getting these again. I see no difference in my eyelashes. So, hmm, I probably won't be getting these again, at least not for now. And this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Mascara. I like this. I think I already have another one for a backup. And the Lash Paradise. I uh, this one was okay. I think I like. I think I like this one here, the Lancome Mr. Big. Oh, I had it upside down. The Lancome Mr. Big. I like this one better than this one. So I have a backup of this one. I don't have a backup of this one. All right, an eye pencil by Marc Jacobs. This is the Blackheart. I finished that one, and I already have a backup of that. And an eyebrow pencil by Benefit, the Precisely My Brow in the shade number four. This was like a little travel size. And the last, no, it's not the last item. And I finished a razor to shave my facial hair. <laughs> this was getting kind of dull, so out it goes. And I have several packets of this. And here I noticed that I put this off to the side here. I don't know why, but this is a mask by Innisfree. And this one here, it's really neat. This is the My Topping Mask. That's the lid. And this one's a creamy base. The inside is a creamy, I guess a creamy clay mask. And then you put two products inside. This one here, I put the walnut shells for exfoliation. There it is. And then a green tea. And I mixed those in here in the mask, mixed it up, and then put it on my face. And I think the, the whole thing, this whole thing right here, this is what it looks like here. Probably cost like $4. But the only thing is that they don't, it's not in their website. You have to go to the store in New York City to get it. I hope that makes sense. But I have another one of this, and I really like this mask. I really like this mask. Now, as you know, we, we just came back from... Um, our, our vacation and I want to show you the things that I finished there. I took a picture of the things that I finished there and I'm going to put that up here and I'm just going to quickly run through it. Alrighty here. Now the picture, I'll try to, you know, do a little thing from top to bottom. So the very top on the left, it's the brown circle that is the Becca highlighter that fell and broke and went everywhere so that one's trash. Then the Tata Harper Regenerating Cleanser, then the Bioderma Micellar Water, and three makeup sponges that's gone. The Bath & Body Works Moonlight Path Travel Size, and then the Makeup Raw Sauce Travel Size of that one. That one I finished over there. And I believe that one's the Drunk Elephant, the Baby Facial, Band-Aid Beauty, I believe that's uh, Band-Aid Beauty, the Facial Radiance Pads. I got that in the um, Beauty Fix subscription box. I think there were 10 pads in there and I used that over there. The Skin Cuticles, the Triple Lipid Restore 242, the Living Proof um, Thickening Mousse, two things of the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream, the Pistache Lotion, let's see here going down again here, the Sephora Makeup Wipe, and two Sephora Foot Mask. When you're walking miles upon miles and then you come back to your hotel room and you slip that on, it just makes your feet feel so good. So we took that with us. And we have a Dr. Dennis Gross C plus collagen eye cream, the Belief moisturizing cream, and then kind of on the bottom, the Glow Recipe Watermelon Sleeping Mask, the Malin and Getz Detox uh, face mask, the Natura Bizet, that's another neck cream that I used up, the Drunk Elephant uh, C Vitamin C uh, Serum with the Glycolic Night Serum, and then the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Face Mask, and Sunday Riley, the CEO Moisturizer, and the C and the Good Jeans. I think that's that's all that I finished there. So that's what I usually take 
uh, when we travel, just a lot of sample sizes, you know, so that way you could just throw it away there and you could have room for stuff that you take home with you. <laughs> All right, you guys, those are the products that I finished for the month of January. And again, look out for that video, the next video with the Sephora um, Give Me Some New Lip because my husband made a little voice cameo in there. And that's the reason why I'm using this lipstick. And also, I realized I didn't put mascara on in that video, so I put it in this one, and I put on a, a jacket in this video, so hopefully you won't notice that one. <laughs> Probably we will now that I mentioned it, but anywho. All right, you guys, those are the things that I finished, and thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. So you can see more videos like this and you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.